Hello, welcome to another shoot film episode. This time I'm gonna be shooting a camera that I no longer have with me. So Ethan Moses was visiting New York. He was the guy who sent me the camera dactyl, the big, big 4x5 camera, and he brought over a pretty weird camera that uses Mia lenses in a 3D printed body and the image ratio is pretty similar to the X-Pan. So that's what I'm gonna shoot on this episode. One important thing to have in mind because you're gonna see the images and you're gonna be like, what's going on here? I was using a viewfinder and for some reason, since I have glasses, I need to be a little bit further away from the viewfinder so I could not calculate exactly where the image is gonna be. So all the images in this roll a little, a little bit like uh, composed further down instead of up. You'll see what I mean. Like. If, if, if the image should be like here, I compose it like here. So I have a lot of cropped heads and cropped faces. So yeah, that's the reason why some of the images look weird. And I wanted to give a few little words about it at the end of the video. So here's the video and then I'll be exactly on the same setup at the end of it. Let's go. Wait, 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 before the video starts, uh, my Etsy shop is open and I have a new scene. This is a scene called Violent Empire and it's about the Chilean student uprising from 2011 to 2013. I was there taking pictures, I took like a hundred rolls, no, not a hundred rolls, but a lot of rolls. And this is a brief summary of the images that I took. So if you wanna get this one, it's on my Etsy shop. It's now open, it's finally open. A lot of you asked me about it. Okay, I'm gonna start plugging in my stuff. Let's go with the video. Hello, I am with Ethan right now. It's on the back over there. And I'll be filming him in a, a few seconds, but right now we're in Bryant Park and we're about to, he's about to show me the whole thing. Nice to meet you, man. Finally, we get to sit down and, and, and chill for a while. So what what is, what is this, um, what are these things that you have in here? Please enlighten us. Uh, they're time travel devices that I have made. <laughs> I don't know, um, they are cameras, uh, so this is, the homunculus is a <laughs> uh, medium format camera. It takes a Mamiya press lens and a Graflex or Mamiya RB back. Um, they come off pretty easily. These are the backs. You know, they're pretty standard thing. This is the lens. Pops off. Uh, it'll take any Mamiya press lens. And so, like, this is something that I'm already selling. It's a done product, although you can get it in a bunch of different configurations. And this is a prototype, so there's only two of these in existence. Wow. But I really want to show Eduardo, uh, so I brought it today. I've been shooting it with it for like three weeks, trying to break it. I've not broken it yet, but I might <laughs> figure it out and uh, change some things. Man, uh, this, this has me really excited because, like, there's a lot of people in the channel who ask me if there's, like, an x alternative. Sure. And this seems to be, like, a current x alternative, probably. Well, it's it's a future x alternative. Okay, yeah. Uh, first, let me rewind. Um, so it's got, you know, finders for any type of lens. And then um, this thing disengages the wind clutch. There's, like, a ratchet here. So this is um, engaged. And that is disengaged. It pulls the whole set of gears up and out of the way. This is how you rewind the film. So that's the lens, it'll take any Mamiya Press lens. Uh, I like the 65, it's relatively cheap, relatively sharp. Um, yeah, so that's the lens mount. It's common to this other camera. Um, in the back here, as the film progresses, it turns these sprockets, which turns a gear, which is connected to this frame counter, and also to um, like a lock. And so uh, at some point this locks out, and then you know you're on the next frame. And then when you go to wind the next one, you just push this in while you wind, and that allows it to start winding again, and there it's locked. So you would just push this in, start to wind, continue winding, and then it, it locks at the next frame. And then each frame this guy progresses, you know, so if this is one, that's two, that's three, and then it's also made such that it can always go backwards and it'll click at every stop. So you have double exposures? It. Yeah, you can if you want. Uh, I try not to, but sometimes yeah. I forget. Uh, <laughs> then I just want to make sure, oops, one, that the lens is on. That helps. Uh, every time you wind it, you just push this in to unlock. 
start to wind and then let go so it'll catch, right? If you hold this in, you can wind forever. And now it'll catch at from 19 to 20. And then you push it back. Push it again. And you can see it's working because this moves, right? Yeah, and also it wouldn't work if this wasn't moving as well. Okay. So now we're on frame one. You should be ready to shoot. This is how you cock it. Um, this is how you set the shutter speed. This is how you set the aperture. Here's Eduardo fiddling with the camera. Oh, wait. Recycle. Here's Eduardo recycling. Like a responsible citizen. Oops. Now still fiddling with the okay, camera. Pop this shutter. Uh, this guy on top. Okay, cool. Great. It's worth doing So many things to worry about. Right, but once you set them, you're good. Right, you should be able to focus F16 from infinity all the way down to five feet. 6.3. 6 .3. 6 .3. Is it meters? Yes, meters. They have both. So, Yes, okay. So I shot. Now I press once, move it, lift it. Yep. There you go. You're on frame two. Yay! Got it. to the next one. Just push it again. Yeah, you skipped a frame. That's fine. You're good. See, it gets to here and I can't keep it. Yeah, because it's already wound.
Yeah, lived like back in the day. Remember the 80s? Remember how cool they were? Yeah. Well, in the kitchen sink. <laughs> like a smaller version of that. Well, now you have me for posterity, you. Yes, forever. <laughs> So the first step is this thing has a tab. Okay. And you yeah. rotate that around all the way. All the way? Yep. Rope. Now, you, yep. Here? Yep. And that just disengages the wind gears. And then you can rewind oh. here. And oh, here. Goes... Take this off. Okay. And this goes like so or like that? Uh, so? Like that. Like that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's funny. I feel like this was a. I mean, it is. For me, it's a test rule, but it's like, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be to use it. Like after the fifth frame, I was, can't say I was super comfortable using it, like, oh, it's my second nature, but it's not harder than many other comments that I usually try, so it's fine. There you go. Perfect. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Look at that beauty. So that was the episode and it was it was fun using the camera. At the beginning I was quite nervous because since it's plastic, just winding the film and you have to disconnect it and then wind the film and close it and it has like a few operations that you gotta do and it, it, it was awkward at the beginning. But then by the, I don't know, like fifth image, I was already accustomed to it. So it's not really difficult to operate. Um, it's a fun camera, it's a cool camera, it's a really, fun X-Pan alternative. It's big though, it's like a, it's a big camera, but it's not heavy, so it's not terrible. You can have it, you can carry it around all day and it's not gonna be like weighty or like it's not gonna hurt your arms or your neck or whatever, so it's fine. If you're looking for an X-Pan alternative, I think you, you could give this a try. It's not an expensive experiment and if you already have like a Mamiya lens lying around, I don't know who has a Mamiya press lens lying around, but if you happen to have one, uh, you could use it on this project. Um, I, I, I never promote Kickstarters, but he has uh, a website and he's gonna launch a Kickstarter over there. So if you're gonna go to his website and be attentive to when that's coming, uh, that will be good. I'm gonna leave the link in the description for his website. And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. It was a cool experience, fun camera. Um, I, I will need another roll to get more accustomed to it, but for now that was really fun. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care guys, bye bye. Wow, look at that. A wild car of suggestions for videos appeared. So I want to use the space to thank all my patrons because they help me to support the channel and they're the responsible that this channel keeps going. So thanks a lot to my patrons. I love you so much. And yep, I will see you pretty soon. Bye.